Hey church family, you may have been following the story of the two NASA astronauts who traveled to the International Space Station in June on Boeing's Starliner spacecraft for what was supposed to be an eight-day trip, only to discover that because of some mechanical malfunctions, instead of returning home in eight days, they will be returning home in eight months. NASA and Boeing officials have been very careful with their language, and as they've talked about the astronauts' situation, they've carefully avoided using words like stuck or stranded, which might reflect poorly on those who are in charge of this mission. Well, what about you? If you were traveling and wound up having to stay in an airport for seven months longer than expected, how would you describe your situation? Well, it might not be for eight months, but most of us have probably found ourselves in situations where we felt stuck. Maybe it's a canceled flight, or a hospital stay, or an unexpected business trip, or a long line, or even a traffic jam. It's sometimes hard to look at what we're going through as simply being an extended stay. But the real question is, when we're up against unforeseen delays and things that are beyond our ability to control, do we still believe the truth of Romans 8, which says, we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to His purpose for them. Barry Wilmore is one of the two astronauts who's experiencing this unplanned and extended stay on the International Space Station. He's also a committed Christian. His wife has been speaking about the way her husband has been handling the delay, and she has said, he is content on the space station, neither worrying nor fretting. She said, we're not saying this means that nothing bad will happen or that the Starliner will bring Barry home safely. But whatever the Lord does will be for our good and for his glory, even if we don't fully understand it. Friends, as we pray for the safe return of those two astronauts who set out for an eight-day trip, only to learn that it would in fact be eight months, May we also pray that we'd have the same confidence that they have, that no matter what happens in our lives, God is in control. Amen.